coming into the 67th Walkley Awards. So that's been going a long time. And what we've seen this year when we've had so many big stories with Ukraine, with the floods, with all sorts of issues around Australia and around the world. One of the major winners here, Natalie Grono's um, picture of Peter takes a moment where you see a man in the floods, you know, up in the Northern Rivers area, just sort of like slumped on this sort of pile of debris in an old chair, really his life, you know, sort of playing out before him. And yet at the same time, there's a blue sky and there's palm trees. Now, that's the power of really strong photography to my mind. There's two stages to the judging process. That's judged by photographers, journalists, producers, uh, cameramen. It's quite an arduous task. Um, there's lots of reading, lots of looking at pictures. And it's really hard, isn't it? I mean, oh. I'm just an observer, but sitting in on those sessions, you know, when I would say that every picture that is nominated as finalist is actually a worthy winner. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. The photographic essay category this year mm. for photography was just phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, the three photographers, uh, Andrew Quilty, Matt Habit, and Kate Garrity. Andrew spends a lot of time in Afghanistan, so he was covering the takeover by, by the Taliban. Matt Habit did a story on indigenous fire burning to, to help with our fire seasons, and Kate went to the Ukraine and, and covered the Ukraine. We've got some of the best photojournalists in yeah. the, the world yeah. in Australia. Yeah. Definitely need to come and have a look. Some of it will be confronting, mm -hmm. but um, I'm sure everybody will walk away with, with something they love yeah. and have a great, much greater appreciation for it. Photojournalists, the pictures we yeah. see in the papers and yeah. on websites, you know, what they're really out there yeah. doing. It's not just like uh, taking a picture on your phone. No, it certainly isn't. <laughs>